Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and now we're going to be playing some tour number 10 as I have joined with Jesus Saves as of Monday to try to help them with their final week of a C100 push. So it's been a long time since I've been in a C100 grind, um, but here we go. So tour 10, you know, this is my preferred tour whenever we're grinding uh, for clan points. You know, I would say the most ideal clubs for this one would be at least an extra mile eight, uh, more preferably a Thor's Hammer five. That's kind of what I started tour number 10 at. Now my Thor's Hammer is super beefed up now. It's going to be at a level seven. So, you know, plenty of juice, you know, for that club. But Thor's Hammer five is all you really need. And I prefer that club because of the backspin, which is going to be really good for shootouts. You know, the ultimate goal here is to win... 65 70% of our games that'll help build your bankroll and I believe you can do that with just a power one ball so you're going to see me play with just a navigator only which is going to have to rely on a lot of curl of course you know the more powerful balls you use the better off you are but I'll show you here this is this is all you really need in order to compete on t10 it's really going to come down to knowing your shootouts, right, at the end of the day, because most of these games are going to go to shootouts. Now, um, when it comes to knowing the shootouts, I definitely don't know them, as, again, it's been forever since I've been on a grind. Typically, the only tour play that I really ever play is when I'm just trying to keep my accounts within a certain range, right? So try to keep my accounts in pro, try to keep them in rookie, whatever the case may be. Here, I went with too much top spin. I caught that glitch roll, but that's going to be okay. Um, I'll still be able to get to the green in two. Our opponent's going to get to the green in two, and we're going to be heading to our first shootout. But one thing I was saying is when it comes to the shootouts, you know, I'm not familiar with them. I've got a good idea of Oasis and Maple Bay um, as we've played those a lot in tournaments. But for the most part, you know, I'll kind of be winging it as I go. So hopefully I can wing it, but still pick up wins along the way. That'll be important for sure. But you'll see here, no problem getting to the green. I just put a little bit too much juice on the drive, and I caught that glitch roll. So we're going to just back this up right here. We're going to move this one here like this. And we will see what our first shootout is. All right, here we go. So one game, going to be one shootout. Let's see if we can pick up a win here. All right, so we do get the Oasis at least. And they're going to go first. All right, so they're going to have a Grizzly. And, you know, that's what a lot of players play with. For me on Tour 10, uh, I prefer the Goliath. Um, you know, you're not going to really be dropping a lot of shots with your long iron. At least I don't think so in regulation play. So for me, when it comes to the shootouts, I prefer to have the Goliath. They looked like they accidentally clipped the tree branch and they fell short. But so we're going to have headwind mix of crosswind. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to play at 10%. And then for me, you know, I'm just going to go something like this.
I just played this one super safe, okay? Um, just to get myself onto the green. And that's all I had to do to win. I would have lined it up a little bit differently if I had to get closer to the pin. You know, but still anything within five yards on tour 10 is still good enough typically for a win. So we're one game in and we picked up a W. That's awesome. And those graphics are a little loud, so I'll probably have to turn that down a little bit, but. Okay. All right, so there we go. Navigator picks up a W for us and we just go on to our very next one. It's a good little bombs away hole right here with the right ball combo. That's not going to be possible for us. And it's really going to be hard to do in headwind anyways. So what's going to happen here is we're both going to lay up, you know, from one fairway to the next fairway. And then we're going to take a rough bump shot towards the pin. And that, of course, assumes that, you know, I execute my drive and I don't end up, you know, taking a bad drive. Just be a normal little shot here. We're just gonna go one to one. We'll just move this one eight rings. And then we'll use a little OP because of the headwind. A little bit of curl to the left. Perfect ball and we're gonna land safely with one bounce here and then we'll be good to the second one as well. Just like that. Now for this shot here, you know, we're going to get a good wind angle. I'll probably play at 15%, and then I'll try to figure out where I'm at as far as club distance goes. See there, you get a little bit of a, of a glitchy green. Better in tailwind to leave it a little bit short so you don't roll past it long. It's still not going to matter if you roll past it long as the ball is going to come back nicely down from the top of the green back down towards the pin but it's not the easiest shot to drop you know especially when you're doing it on the fly on one-on-one -on -one play but it's definitely possible probably one of those scenes again though where we'll head to another shootout possibly All right, so we're gonna go right here. Okay, here we go. Well, at least we hit perfect, you know. Not enough top spin. Left it a little bit short, but that's all right. Now we're gonna head to another shootout. You know, typically on T10, um, when you're playing opponents, you're going to run into a lot of money balls. And you're always typically going to play against somebody that has a, a P3 ball. Very rarely do you see somebody play P1 or Katanas. 
To me, the Katana would be the most versatile ball to use outside unless you just have a gazillion Kingmakers laying around. So we're going to get the exact same hole. Exact same hole, different wind, but we're still going to play at 10%. Our opponent is going for the rough bump. I don't like that in this wind angle. You know, but they might be on to something. I just think those trees get in your way. I prefer typically more times than not just for the bounce over shot using a heavy, typically full left curl to get the ball towards the pin. Yeah, that's why I don't like that one in this wind angle. So we're getting pretty lucky here on the first two shootouts that we haven't really had any pressure applied to us yet. Gives on my nerves there, that little tree. That's all right. But we will go full left curl here with the perfect ball. You know, we're going to be good here. Again, all we had to do was land on the green, so I didn't push it at all. There are different ways to set up on this hole. But the biggest thing about the game is when your opponent messes up, just make sure you don't mess up. Just go super safe. All we had to do is beat 14 yards. So you saw me really line up more on the right-hand side of that fairway than I normally would if I had to get closer than that. But we're going to take this one two for two so far. Gets us off to a great little session. I'm not going to be playing too long. Probably, you know, like maybe another 45 minutes or so. I'm just doing this while my wife wraps up work. All right, now we're going to be heading into a long par five. This one a lot of people struggle with, including myself. APOC, definitely a great option for this hole as you want to use curl there to get yourself up onto that second fairway. I like the Thor's hammer, you know, just in case we get some of these shootouts that are super tough and that backspin comes into play. Perfect ball. This will be a good shot here. That'll put the pressure on us. Gonna kind of force me to change clubs here even though I didn't want to but I'm not gonna change the ball I'm just gonna use the curl to get there shot should be good it's going to come in and sit nicely on the fairway. Hate changing my driver here because, you know, we have to think this shot, this hole is definitely heading to a shootout, and I'd much rather pack my Thor's hammer. That's okay. Now, you'll see here that our opponent used a kingmaker. We just used a navigator, and we're able to outdrive him here. Pony using a hammerhead, definitely. That's a cool club. That is something that we do not see a lot of in this game at all. Let's see what they can do with it. 
Great shot to the right. They're close. Good, good shot there. Now to be our turn. We're gonna get caught in between clubs if we go that angle, so. All right, we're gonna have to play it a little strange, but that's okay. That'll be a good enough pull to get to the green. <laughs> We're going to our third shootout of the game. I can guarantee you we're not going to get that same oasis hole this time, though. There's no way we're getting that one three in a row. The probability is against us there. All right, what will we get this time? Oh, it's gonna give us a Thor's hammer hole. Are you kidding me? This is one that we want the Thor's hammer on and we don't have it. Oh, that's uber frustrating. Okay, let's see. Well, let's just see what we can do with this club here. Cannot believe that. Of all the holes they give us, they're going to give us this one. This one, if you have a Thor's hammer, you can just crush people on this hole. You know, but it still worked out really well. Really well. I will take that all day, every day on this particular hole. I don't suggest the bounce over approach with your wood club when you're getting headwind. This is definitely the, the wind to take your driver and do it on. But again, typically when you can go with that max backspin approach, that's really good. Uh, I also don't suggest a rough bump like this. Very, very inconsistent rough landing spots, inconsistent rolls on the green. I would definitely go with like, you know, that six to seven backspin approach. One bar is side spin to the left and kind of just aim where I did. That's just the thing is, you know, the rolls are, are really, really hard to get on that rough bump. But there we go. So we're three games in. Uh, we picked up a win on all three games so far. A little T10 action. We're going to get ourselves a rematch too. So far we haven't played up against a single money ball, but we have played against all power three balls. This one's a nice little par four. Gives us a good chance to drop an eagle. As long as we can drive the fairway, uh, we do have a good chance to pick up that drop here. I'll switch back to my Thor's hammer. You see our opponents doing the same thing with the Thor's hammer.
I still drive there, so that's well done. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push back up three rings once I'm done adjusting. And that's going to throw that shot off, hitting a great ball to the left, but still... All right, just roll out. Okay, good. Whew. If I would have hit a perfect ball, then I wouldn't have had the to roll out of the rough, and we'd have been good. But ultimately, that worked out just fine. So now we're both going to have that rough bump opportunity. Look at this guy. He's using a hammerhead and a kingfisher. I wonder if he has that challenge to where you got to use a rare club or, or an epic club, whatever, a certain amount of times, having all those in the bag. He's caught in between clubs here, so I don't even think you can go with the max topspin approach with the Kingfisher. He's going to have to use OP to make that shot work. Looks like, you know, best thing to do here is to do what he's doing and just to lay it up safely. Last thing you want to do is get stuck in the rough. Would be a very easy chip-in shot from the rough, but... Better off just to lay up, putt in, and assume that I'm not going to make my shot. All right, here we go. I'm just going to play this one straight up at mid. Well, at least we hit perfect, so let's see if I adjusted correctly. Oh, come on. We were so close. So close. Well, four games in, everybody who's watching, and we're going to four shootouts. So at least that's good for the viewers. I know people like to see shootouts. They like to see different approaches or, you know, how other people play them. Okay, so what will we get this time in the shootout? Uh, so far, it's been all Oasis. Oasis for three. Another Oasis hole. This is crazy. What is going on here? I'm first again. Straight up headwind, man. <sighs> this is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough one. Okay. Now this one I do got to try to get close here. Oh, boy, I'm going to go with overpower, 13 miles an hour. I'm dead. That great to the left caused me to not hit the green. So, you know what? Sometimes you lose a game. So we're going to win three out of four to start off our session. 
So we're at 75%. I don't think anybody would complain if they were to win 75% of their games in T10 with a Navigator Ball, which is where we're at. So hopefully, you know, we pick up a win on our next game to get back on the winning train. But there's no way we're winning this one unless they really mess up like we did. That Katana side spin is going to be clutch here. Ah, I just wish I would not have hit that. Great ball to the right. Or to, to the left, I mean. All right, so let's go again. We're heading to our fifth game. Nice getting another rematch like this. Keeps the games moving fast. All right, Maple Bay, par five. Which one is this one here? Did not look familiar, but I'm sure it will when we go to the tee box. Okay, yeah, I know what we got here. Gonna leave some room for a great left in case I accidentally do that. But we hit perfect, so that's good. Nice little drive here. It still looks like we have a mile to go to get to the pin, though. Holy smokes. All right, our opponent chooses to cut down the wind, but keep the Thor's hammer. Very, very close here to the rough. So they've, they've done a good job hitting perfect so far, but a great left would be... Would be dangerous. But they hit another perfect ball. So they got that perfect ball going. All right. Gross. Okay, so here we go. We got to swing it. All right, this is going to be fun. Oh, man. Seriously, you see these great balls killing me. Perfect ball. I would have got to the back part of that green and rolled down. But that's what happens when you don't hit perfect. I messed up. I might cost myself a win here. Well, not a win, but a chance to go to a shootout. All I had to do was swing it over and just let that ball go down the hill there. But I messed it up. That's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm going to make the shot out of the rough. I'm not worried about that. Definitely making that shot. Our opponent's on fire with the perfect shots. Oh, they got stuck up there at the top. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, great ball. Come on, David. Jeez, oh, I was for sure I was going to make that shot, too. Super disappointed in myself right now on how I played this hole. All right, three and two. Ah. Oh, that's it against him, huh? We gotta go. To, we have to go to a new opponent. I'm so irritated that I've done this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna win the next couple of games now and get back on it here. I'm calling it. We're winning the next two at least, at minimum. We don't want to push this one too hard because we don't want to go too on that uh, roll there on that second fairway. It can roll super fast, and we know we have to go a full OP. Great shot, but it's going to be fine. It's going to have no issues getting to the second fairway. Oh, my gosh, and it still went too far. That's all right. We're still going to be onto the hole or onto the green in two. The only thing that does, it kind of just eliminates, you know, a good rough bump opportunity for us, which stinks. Now they're going full top spin with the P2 ball. I think they're going to try to get onto that little circle fairway. Which if they do that, that leaves you for a very, very good chance to drop an eagle. But I'm not worried about that. I assume we're heading to a shootout here. And I'm going to win the shootout too because I'm not happy with myself. That's not going to make it to the fairway. All right. So let's go. We're just going to play it super safe. All we're doing is just making sure we're able to land up here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I will make this shot out of the rough. That I can promise you. I don't miss shots that close out of the rough. You could try to bank it off the rocks here, down towards the pin. That's always a fun little trick shot. Yep, just like this. It's funny. We've seen this made a few times. At least I've seen this made a few times. Now, the funny thing is, though, is, is you can mess this up, and you can ricochet the ball into the rough or into the sand. But we see a lot of people go for this shot here. J 
just for the fun of it. That's that's the thing. It's because it's typically safe. You can typically almost always land on the green. <laughs> just like that. One hundred percent chance this is going in the hole. Okay. Just like we predicted, we're going to a shootout, and I promised you I'm going to win this shootout too. I'm focused. All right, not gonna be the Oasis, for sure, right? Oh, it's the Oasis again. Man, this is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna do my Thor's hammer shot. Just like our opponent here. And we both have a Thor's hammer, so. But I'm, I'm still feeling super confident. I'm always confident on this hole with my Thor's hammer. Always. Four point one six. We got that. We got that, Dave. Five and a half rings. We're gonna go just like this. One left. Seven back. And then in the headwind. I'm gonna try to catch it just like this, okay? That's my setup, just like that. Twenty percent at mid with the driver. Perfect ball. That'll be game over. All right. Here we go, back on track. So we've won four, lost two. So that's all right. That's not terrible. Build our bankroll when we do that. We're not going to get a rematch here, but I want to win the next hole. I want to win the next game for sure. I'll feel better about being five wins and two losses than where I'm at right now. Okay. This is a tough, tough par five. This one is hard for sure. Especially in this brutal, brutal win scenario here. I'm going to go this way this time. So we're going to have to let one fly here. This is going to be very difficult for me to pull off to get to the green in two. Wish I could have hit that slope and rolled down, but I didn't. So we're going to have to see what ends up happening here on shot two. Power five, wind resistance zero. 
I would imagine they're going to switch out their ball, right? Because you would not want to play with the wind resistance to zero in headwind. But it looks like they're sticking with it. Okay. Interesting choice. You know, if you're somebody who plays with money balls, there's nothing wrong with that. You got to make sure that the game is fun to you. Um, but, you know, if you have multiple different balls to choose from, you wouldn't want to go with a wind zero ball in headwind. Now he's going to have a big advantage with the power five ball, right? Obviously making it much easier to, to, get, to get to the green in two with a powerful ball. It's going to be a great drive, too. Awesome drive. Powerful ball. Really going to put our backs against the wall here to try to compete. All I want to do here is just get this thing within range. That's all I want to do. Great left should be okay here. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm pumped. Love facing these powerful money balls on these long par fives of the P1 ball and getting into a range that I need to get into to compete. Now we got to go to a shootout and we got to seal the deal for a victory. Come on. Dangerous here. If they misadjust, they could they could come up short. Especially with the wrong pull angle. And I don't have any more games I can play. I know my wife is getting ready to wrap up work and then we're going to the gym. Okay, they're using their overpower at least, so that's going to help. All right, all I got to do is make my shot. We're going to a shootout. Come on now, let's go. Easy stuff. I guess we might as well get prepared for another Oasis shootout as that seems what, that's all that we're getting. No way we get it again, though, right? No way. Get on, Sadie. All right, here we go. Let's go. It's a draw. Head into a shootout. What are we going to get? I go first. Crosswind. So I think here... Try this. We're gonna try to swing it, okay? We're gonna we're gonna aim way over here. We're gonna pull it 13 rings, at least we're gonna try to. And then we're gonna use lots of right curl. Perfect ball. We'll see what happens. Oh, 
Not enough curl. Ah, come on. Let me get lucky here. I do like the way I played this hole. I just messed it up. You know, the way our opponent is playing is how most people are going to play it. Um, he's probably going to beat me, you know, just simply because I messed up my shot. Curl-wise. But, you know, when you catch this slope here, you typically roll four to five yards past the pin. That's the only reason why I don't like this approach. When you play it from the left-hand side, as long as you get the curl right and you stick it on the green... You pretty much stay within about three yards of the pin. Now they hit a great shot to the right, so I don't think, yeah, this is going to stay up there. We won! Come on! Sometimes you get lucky in this game. Let's go. Five wins, two losses. Puts us at 71% for this session, and we'll see if we can get a rematch. I might play one or two more games. Again, not a long grinding session, just killing some time while my wife is wrapping up work. But love beating money balls, especially when I get away with a bad shot. But we all make bad plays from time to time. I just got away with one there. All right, I told you when I lost that game, I was going to win two in a row. Oh, we got to get there. Why are we going to get up there? Okay, let's see what can happen here. And I'm just getting a little excited. I'm a competitor, so, I mean, it's not like I, I'm being too serious. I'm just having some fun here. Oh, what a horrible drive, David. Oh, it's got rough written all over it. Can I get away with it? Give it to me. Woo! Nice. It's a good thing. You saw me right before I went to pull my rings. I actually moved my target over a little bit more to the left just in case I hit a great shot to the right. Now, when I use full overpower... I tend to hit great right more than anything, so I tend to account for that. Look what a great ball this is. W4 side. Oh, now we're switching it up. Power 4, side spin 5, wind resistance 3, APOC 7. Let's go. These are the games I really, really want to win so bad. It's a cool looking ball, too. I like this one. A great shot to the left here. The wind is blowing from left to right. So ultimately, the, they should get away with this shot too, just like I did. They're going to go too far, though. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Where do we have the most fairway to work with? All right, this is going to be tough. We got to go. We're not going to worry too much about the curl there. Yes. That's a good looking shot right there. It's gonna be a tough shot for our opponent here. I would use the fairway and bounce over with full time spin. 
I just think that the wind is going to knock this ball down and get stuck in the rough, possibly. That's kind of what I was thinking. Good chance that we pick up another win here and we bury another money ball into the ground. Come on! It was a great shot from our opponent there, that's for sure. So I got to curb my enthusiasm for just a moment here and now focus on picking up this win, right? Actually stepped away for a second and then came back to the shootout, so I was surprised. So they must have hit a great shot. Ah, that's okay. Ah, we'll take it. It's all right. 2.64, you know. Let's see what happens. We'll see. All right, come on. Come on, let me get one here. Let me pick up this win. Come on now. I think we did. I think we picked it up. Made us work for it, but we won. Whew. Close. All right, so we have won six out of eight games. We'll see if we can get another one here real quick. Doesn't look like it. I'm not too patient. I just like to keep this thing rolling. All right, so now this hole here, probably a shootout again. This one is, you know, a hole that in a tournament, you know, we typically get to take the power five approach. No, no, this, I'm not thinking, I'm thinking something totally different. Okay, so we need to back it up here. Whoop. A little something like that. I need to hit perfect on my drive. I cannot screw this one up. Oh, overpower two. Oh, why is that happening? What? Well, that's a party pooper. Terrible, David. Well. All 
I don't know what's going to happen here now. I don't think we can get to that fairway to bounce over to the green. Darn it. What happened there? Perfect ball. Hmm. Uh, that one's confusing to me. I'd have to go back and watch a replay to see what I did wrong, but I thought for sure I had that lined up correctly. Hit a perfect ball. Thought I had the OP right. But that's all right. That's all right. Come on now. What can I do here? Oh, it's not even close. We're not even close. We lost. All right, so we're going to be six and three. So we're still at 66%, which is good, which is good. You know, disappointed on this one for sure. Then after this, I'm going to play one more. I'm going to play one more for game number 10, and hopefully we pick up that win. That would put us at seven out of 10 for a 70% winning percentage with that navigator ball. This is not the easiest shot for our opponent either to you. They're gonna have to go OP. Great left is better than a great right. They made it. Nice job. Gross. All right. Good game, sir. Good game. We'll see if we can get a rematch so we can quickly get into this last game. And this next game, I think, will be it for me as we're going to get out of here. Now, we do need to win this next game, though. I feel like kind of like a good session hinges on this next game. You know, obviously, 6 out of 10 is 60%. And I think a lot of people would be happy with 60% on Tour 10, especially if you're just using a power one ball and you're preserving your good balls for tournaments and stuff like that. But to me, it feels like a significant difference getting 7 out of 10, you know, Either way, at the end of the day, no matter what happens with this one, we've still won more than we've lost, right? And we didn't burn through good inventory. We didn't use our good resources. Um, so no matter what happens here, we still win more than we lost. But I'm just trying to get greedy and trying to get that 70%. Here we got just a crazy ball. Look at this thing. That's cool. It seems like a lot of stats for a short par four. Definitely not the type of ball I would suggest that you're going to use. Got to be careful on this hole here because you can experience this little uh, fairway roll into the rough. But they had no issues. Nice shot. Feel like we're probably heading to a shootout here.
This will be fine too. Now we're both gonna have a rough bump approach. Try to get this ball into the hole. So far you see here in nine games, no opponent or myself has dropped a single shot. That's kinda why I say you just gotta get used to shootouts. I mean, that's typically you know where these things go. The higher up the tours you go, um, you know, as long as you and your opponent both drive the fairway, you're typically looking at a shootout. You know, people win in regulation whenever somebody messes up the drive. You know, of course, if an opponent messes up a drive, then you need to play it safe and just take that win. Oh, that's a cool looking ball right there. I like that one. I wonder if I can pull these rings here. Yeah. No, just hopefully we hit the rough. Son of a gun, David. Great left. All right. No harm, no foul. Here we go. We're heading to a shootout. We're going to have to earn it for the 70%. So he's going to head to a shootout with the wind resistance four ball with one more bar of side spin than me. So good advantage. All right, let's see if we can make this one happen. We are going up against a tough ball here. Okay. All right, four yards away. Let's see, it's gonna be tough. Come on, David, this is technical here. At least we hit perfect. We gotta beat four yards on a tough one here. Stop. Stop. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Yes! Woo! Very, very close. There it is. That is a tough hole. And we do pick up seven wins out of ten matches for 70%. So ultimately, you know, I feel really good about this little 10 game session right here. You know, I wish you all the best of luck in golf clash. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section. Uh, thanks, everybody. I will talk to you later.